Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Bitch and I'm here to turn you all into bitches. Enough with the people pleasers, enough with the nice girls, enough with the feeling of being taken advantage of. This is history. I'm helping form the next generation of women. The mean girls, the bad girls, the bitches. <laughs> the nice girl? Do you feel that you have been taken advantage of? And this is the right place for you. I'm here to help you get your power back. If you're married and your husband doesn't treat you very well or he doesn't pay a lot of attention to you, this video will give you all the information on how to make him hooked on you. Also, if you're in a relationship or in a marriage and your better half treats you like a queen, still you need to remind him of who you are. So this video is gonna refresh his memory. And even if you are single, this video will help you get all the attention on you and make you have everyone run after you. First, I need to tell you that you do the level up for yourself because when you feel better about yourself, when you love yourself, you respect yourself. This is a vibe that you spread out of the world. So everybody that is close to you gets this feeling that you are important, that you are someone special, that you look like a diva or a movie star. You stand out. You stop being a people's pleaser. You're never afraid to show who you really are. So continue watching. The first thing you need to do is to take care of your outfit. Go right now to your closet and toss all the clothes that you don't wear anymore. You can sell it on Depop or on Poshmark or everywhere, or you can give it for free, but don't have them in your closet. Go and get yourself new clothes. This way you're gonna feel more refreshed. Try to avoid the clothes that are very, very trendy because this year you will be in fashion and next year you won't be able to wear the same clothes again. So try to choose classy pieces that will give you more options to combine them and to wear them for many years. Oh yeah, but I don't have a lot of money to spend on clothes. No, that's a lie. <laughs> So not having money is an excuse. Second, makeup. I'm sure you all have in your cosmetic purse so many stuff from years ago that you don't use anymore. Toss them away. Enough. You need to buy new cosmetics. You don't have to change your style. If you like new, you will do that. But you can find new shades or new brands. And the same thing applies here. You don't need to spend a lot of money. There are many cosmetic companies that sell a lot of affordable stuff. So you don't need to spend a fortune. But you need to feel motivated to open up your cosmetic bag every day, to wear your lipstick, or a new mascara on that will make you feel better about yourself. Waking up every day and doing your makeup like it's an obligation, using the same products every day doesn't make it a pleasure anymore. Three, hair. Hair is the most important thing. Do your hair every day. Don't go out of the house like who did and why. Make an appointment with your hairdresser at least once a month. Use the best products to make your hair look hydrated and shiny. And again, you don't have to spend a lot of money. I always use coconut oil once a week. Four, gym. Go to the gym. Everybody knows that working out makes you feel happier. Stop making excuses for that. And I have another advice here. There are many people that will say, okay, I'm gonna work out at home. I'm gonna use videos and stuff. No, don't do that. You have to go to the gym. You have to treat yourself. You have to buy new clothes for the gym and you have to leave the house in order for you to work out. This is what will give you motivation. Five. Nutrition. I know you adore burgers and fries, but when you eat healthier, you feel better about yourself. You have more energy. You go to bed early. You sleep better. You feel more calm. You have no idea how much your nutrition can affect the way you feel and your energy levels. So start eating healthier, more salads and more fruits. I've been a vegan for the past nine, 10 years. I lost count really. I feel way better than I used to feel in the past. I do way more stuff now and I'm not tired. I have energy all the time. I sleep better at nights. And of course, drink a lot of water. I also have a, an application on my phone that helps me drink more water because it reminds me of it every, I don't know, every two hours. Drinking a lot of water will make you feel better because when you are dehydrated, you feel tired and grumpy. Treat yourself. Use the best glass that you have in your house. This glass that you keep for the special occasions, this is a special occasion for you. You have to have a very nice looking glass to make you feel motivated so that you drink more water. Six, once a week, you should do something only for yourself. You can have your nails done. You can have an appointment with your hairdresser, have a massage or whatever makes you feel nice. It can be anything, but it has to be something that is only for you. If you go shopping, stop thinking about spending money on your kids. You should show to your kids that you are the priority because this is what will teach your kids to be a priority in other people's lives too. Most of the women out there that are people pleasers and that are being taken advantage of are daughters of mothers that sacrifice themselves for the sake of family, for the sake of their children. Don't do that. If you're a mother, 
you need to be the priority, not the kids. If you go shopping with your kids, spend more time on you. If you respect yourself, this is how you teach your children to respect themselves too. So don't sacrifice yourself. Unfortunately, the society wants you to be sacrificed, wants you to give more, have taught you to be less in order to make everybody happy. No. And this goes especially when you have a daughter. You need to show her that you have to be the priority because she will do the same in her family in the future. She will try to place herself more. Leveling up has to be a never-ending process. I know that there will be days that you will wake up in the morning and that you will be like, I don't want to do anything. I just want to wear my pajamas and go to the supermarket and get a juice and just do nothing. No. You need to level up every day. You need to put pressure on yourself to wear your makeup and to put on your best outfit, especially the days that you feel the worst. This is a great way to fight depression. This is a great way to reverse a negative situation. So whatever happens to you, no matter how hard a day is, if you wear your best perfume, if you look great, if you stand out, you will eventually feel better. This is very important. Stop hanging out only with the people that you used to hang out from high school. It's a very nice thing to have friends from back then. Expanding your circle will benefit you in many ways. When you have a problem in the future, you can reach more people this way. So you will have more opportunities to solve every kind of problem. Also, you should start looking for new activities. This can be a good way to meet new people. But starting a new activity is something that will definitely level you up because you will become more interesting as a person, as a human being. It can be anything. It can be hiking. It can be a cooking lesson. It can be a made up something. The only thing that matters is that it has to be something that you like. Another very important thing is that you should definitely spend one to two hours per week watching videos like this or reading self-help books. This is something that you do for yourself, for your mentality, for your well-being. This is an investment. Negativity is always around us. Don't choose to focus on the negative things. So in order for you to focus on something better, you need this motivation, you need the self-help books, you need this kind of videos so that you are closer to your part that is more positive. We all carry negative thoughts. We can all be toxic at some point, but the thing is to be aware of this situation and to put an end on it. And at the same time, having a source to help us switch the negative emotions into positive ones. Create time for yourself. If you're in a relationship or if you're married, stop going out with your better half like every time. There are women out there that go shopping with their husbands, they go out for dinner with them, for lunch with them, they meet their girlfriends with their husbands. This is something that is unacceptable. You should start hanging out more with your girlfriends and he should hang out with his friends more. If he sees you dolled up and leaving the house, he's gonna be crazy. He's gonna be like, where is she going right now? Somebody's gonna hit on her. There is no doubt. I have to try more. I have to chase more. I have to treat her better. I have to respect her more. Do you see how this works? But when you are at home all the time, looking like hooded and white, and you only leave the house with him, then he takes you for granted. And when somebody takes you for granted, he disrespects you. He doesn't chase you. He doesn't think you're interesting anymore. This is when you start nagging. He doesn't have a lot of time for me. He doesn't take me out for dinner. He doesn't buy me flowers. Yeah, because you're clingy. You need to have your own life in order for every guy to run out for you. Don't wait for the perfect time to say to yourself that you are the best, that you are the most beautiful woman in the world. I know that right now, maybe you will have some issues, maybe you have some problems, maybe you're not feeling very well, and maybe you will say, okay, mm, I will wait till the summer when I will have more time, when I will be able to feel better about myself, or maybe no, you have to do it right now, even if you don't believe it. Fake it till you make it. Go to your mirror, take a post-it, write something very positive about yourself, like you are the most beautiful woman in the world. You can also use the word bitch, whatever feels inspiring to you. You do it right now, right now that you're watching this video. After watching this video, you go and make a list of the things that you need to make you feel better about yourself. Go get yourself some new cosmetics. Go get yourself some new clothes. Get your hair done. Get your nails done. Feel better about yourself now. You don't need to actually believe that because if you fake it, people will still see that you stand out. People will still see that you're something else. They don't know how you really feel if you pretend that you feel great. Never leave your house like hooded and white. If you go every day to work, you wake up in the morning, you wear your best clothes, your best outfit, you wear your makeup, you do your hair, you wear your most expensive perfume, and then you go to work. Treat yourself every day like it's a special day. You want to go to the supermarket and get some juice? You don't go there wearing your PJs. 
You don't go there looking like a loser. No, you dress up like a goddess every single day, wherever you go. Either you gotta take your kids from school, visit some relatives, everywhere you go. This is how you're gonna feel better about yourself. This is how people will perceive you as someone special. Always have a hobby. It can be anything. I don't care. For example, if your hobby is drawing. So while you are drawing, your mind will be totally blank and you will stop thinking about your everyday situation, your problems at work, your problems with your husband, everything. When you start drawing, your mind goes away. Your mind detaches from toxicity and negativity. My hobby is windsurfing. So every time I go windsurfing, it's like there's nothing else. It's only me and the sea. Also, when you have hobbies, people think that you're more interesting and your better half gets more attached to you because they can see that your mind is not always there in the relationship. They can see that your attention can be somewhere else too. And they get jealous and they get insecure and they want to steal your attention. So they never stop chasing you. Set the fuck boundaries. I know that most of you are people pleasers. I know that a lot of women out there are afraid of arguments, of fights. You always need to say what you think. You should never suppress yourself. If something happens, if a friend or if your partner does something that you don't like, you should always go like, I don't like this thing. You should stop doing it. You make me feel uncomfortable. I hate it when you do it. Start standing up for yourself. If you don't do that, nobody else will. So here, is how you feel and here is what other people feel. What's the most important thing? If you suppress yourself in order to make everybody feel better, then you will end up depressed and you will wake up one day and you will be like, I don't feel very well, what's wrong with me? And then you will go to a psychiatrist and they will give you antidepressants and you will be taking the pills for the rest of your life because you put more value on the other people and not on yourself. So all arguments and all the fights are worth it. And the arguments and the fights create healthier relationships. You have to know that. When you don't like something, you say it. You never shut the f up, never. Because if you do that, you will regret it in the end. You will harm yourself in ways that you can never imagine because these things pile up. And when depression knocks the door, you will be helpless. It's better to have people around you that they really like who you are than having people that are next to you because you treat them nice. And last, forget about being humble. We don't do humble here in this channel. Here we do divas, we do bitches, we do level up. Society has been manipulating women to be nice, to be kind, to please people. F the people. F everybody that doesn't offer you peace of mind. We don't do humble here. And if somebody doesn't like your leveling up, they should be out of your life immediately. You should cut them off. Cut them off, literally. And you should always take inspiration from other people that are more self-confident than you are. You know, most of the people that are jealous of you or they are mean to you, they do that because deep inside, they want the same thing that you do, but they believe that they cannot have it. And this is why they are mean. Hang out with people that will level you up more, that appreciate your confidence, that appreciate who you are, that make you want to be better and better and better, that inspire you to have more self-respect and set better boundaries. So that's all for today. I really hope you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button below and leave your comments. Also, if you want to have a private consultation with me, you can follow the link in the description of this video. The first consultation is always free. Don't forget to share this video with your best friends. I will see you in the next episode.